Afmal? Afmal, are you awake? Uh, yeah, I'm awake. Uh, wow, you look terrible this morning. <laughs> hey, you don't exactly wake up perfect either, Caitlin. <laughs> I meant you look sick. Uh, oh, yeah. I feel horrible right now. Like, nauseous, and I want to punch everything at the same time. Is that what you feel like every day, Caitlin? Haha, <laughs> very funny. <laughs> You've been on a roll for comedy lately. <laughs> I try. I'm laughing. Seriously, though, you look horrible. Though I don't blame you. Let's face it, you've been under a lot of stress lately. Yeah. I'd be concerned if you didn't get some kind of sick. Then I might really believe you were Lady Irene. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, there's work that needs to get done. Uh, uh. Whoa, take it easy. Stay here. I'll go get you some breakfast and some tea. <laughs> you don't have to. I... I want to. You need rest. I know Lawrence and Garth are back, and there's a lot looming over your head in terms of the Tula and the relics. But you need to take it easy right now. <sighs> I was... gonna go see Lucinda. <laughs> Lucinda can wait. Let's get some breakfast first. How does that sound, Lilith? <laughs> See? She's all for it. <sighs> Fine. I I'll take it easy. Uh, for now. Good. Don't throw up on me now. Stay here and I'll be back. Huh. Thanks. <sighs> you know, you're supposed to be on my side, right? Mama. <laughs> Aw, I love you. <laughs> You're back! Oh, thank Irene! I didn't think I could have lasted much longer without you or Caitlin here. <laughs> it couldn't have been that bad, Lucinda. I know! I was a perfect gentleman the whole time you were gone! I only tried to touch Lucinda's butt only once! A day. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see you tried to get your daily dose of vitamin B, Travis. <laughs> Are you alright, Afmel? You look a little tired. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just didn't sleep that well. <laughs> Lucinda, I came to see if you wanted to come on an errand with me. Oh, is it a girl's only kind of errand? Uh, no, not really. I mean, unless by girls only, you mean just you... Me. <laughs> Garth. <coughs> Lawrence. <coughs> ah, I see. So you mean no. Yes. I mean, I mean no. <laughs> Are you sure, Afmal? Maybe you could use some girl time. When was the last time you really had a chance to just be you? <sighs> yeah, you're right. It's been a while, but I don't really need to- Nonsense! Don't be silly. Everyone needs time to relax. Even you. <laughs> That's a nice thought, Lucinda. But I'm not sure I'll have the time. Well, if you don't need me for that, then what do you need me for? Uh, I'm happy to help, as always. 
I'll gladly do any one of the crazy ideas you are planning. Uh, hey! Not all my ideas are crazy! Oh, really? How was your trip to Ocasus? Fine! Just fine? Okay. Did you get what you were looking for? Things got a little crazy. Okay, uh, I get it. Some of my ideas can be a little, little fantastical. <laughs> if fantastical means the same thing as crazy, then thank you for proving my point. <laughs> so, where are we going today? Um, we're gonna go back into the sacred forest to see Hyria, and we'd like you to Uh, awkward. Look, I, I know you really don't like your mother, the forest has gotten only dangerous since, and I feel a lot safer if you came with us to keep us safe. And honestly, it would be great if you have you here and help you with your magic and all stuff like that, you know, boop, bibbidi, boop, boop. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. What? I know I'm asking a lot, but Dante says that the outskirts of the forest have gotten more dangerous since the Irene Dimension fell. You know the witchcraft that protects that forest. You'd be able to keep us safe. That and your... her daughter. I can't imagine her spells would want to hurt you. Hmm. <sighs> I'm sorry, Afna, but I'm not ready. I still have so many things to work out before I see her again. I want to hate her, but I know that isn't going to help either one of us heal and move on. I may not like her right now, but I want to do this right. And that's what Dad would have wanted. I understand, Lucinda, but I thought it was worth asking anyway. Oh, please. You don't have to sound so sad about it. I'm still going to help you. Here. Huh? Uh, what? Take this. It'll help you. Y your staff? Yeah. It was Hyria's, actually. She was its original wielder, and some of her witchcraft still lays dormant in it. If you're going to go into the forest, she's bound to recognize it. Trust me. You'll be safe. Uh, but won't you need this to keep Phoenix Trap safe? You're not keeping it. I'm just letting you borrow it. And only for today. But I don't think I'll need it. Travis, surprisingly enough, is quite skilled at magics and has been a giant help while you're away. He may be adorably annoying, but at least he's useful. Oh, I'm all kinds of useful. Uh, what did I say about personal space? That what's yours is yours, and I'm not allowed anywhere near it. That's right. And if you touch anything without me knowing, I'll have to hurt you good. Uh, okay. Well then, uh, um, <clears throat> everything looks to be fine here. I think I'll just be on my way then. I'll see you guys when I get back, okay? <laughs> Athmau! Uh, yeah? T tell Hyria I said hello. Sure. I can do that. Don't feel bad about losing, guys. It happens to everyone at some point. I mean, not me, of course. Just everyone else. How could you not beat him? Me? What about you, Mr. Oh, it's just Dante, there's nothing to worry about, we'll win for sure. Um... He beat you faster than me. I told you there was something in my eye. I'm just glad no one else was there to witness it. <laughs> hey, guys! <laughs> hey, Afmo! The guys and I were just talking about our sparring match the other day. <laughs> so it went well? Well, it did. For me. <laughs> uh, 
I'm telling you, he just got lucky. <laughs> Maybe I did get lucky. But you know what? The more practice I get, the luckier I get. And I've been practicing for 15 years, boys! <laughs> oh my, Irene, this is definitely terrifying. I don't think he's human. <laughs> well, they don't give the head of the guard position to just anybody, right, Garth? No, they don't. <laughs> it's good to know Phoenix Drop is in good hands. Well, are you boys ready? Sure are. It'll be interesting to see how the force changed. I'm ready. Just lead the way. Mm -hmm. Good luck out there, Aphmau. We'll be here for you when you get back. Right. Mm -hmm. Take care, Dante. Come on, you two. <sighs> She's gotta be here somewhere. Uh, what the? Nice staff. <sighs> Thanks, Haria. Uh, you scared me. I'm glad you found us. I didn't mean to find you. I was looking for someone else. We wanted to ask you some questions. And that's why you've come looking for me? You know I can't help you. You're wasting your time. I gave up on the outside world long ago. Go bother someone else. Uh, Lucinda says hello! From the other side? Yes. She wanted you to know that. At least she tried. I'll listen to your questions. But only for Lucy's sake. And I can't make any promises that I'll do more than listen. Thank you. We... wanted to know more about the relics. Do you know anything about them? Relics? Hmm... I should have known you would come to me for this. Yes, I know of them. They are from the Magi. Some would even say that they are the Magi. <laughs> These relics are the Divine Warriors? Did I say that? No. Now don't put words in my mouth. And don't interrupt me. I don't know everything about them. I can tell you that they are older than me. Maybe even Irene. But of that I'm not sure. They have been around for a long time. What do you mean? That they're from the Magi? Are they a gift from the Magi? No. Not exactly. The power they give to whomever wields them, correct? You of all people know this. Yes. I've experienced it. These objects, we call them relics because they are remnants of the Magi, but what little is known is that they created the Magi. The Magi aren't invincible gods, they are just people, normal people. Broken like the rest of us, the powers given to the relics have been used by history. They've only been listed in our recent history, the previous relic wielders as the Magi. So there are no divine beings? Then how do these relics work? How do they find these normal people? <sighs> Everything I know I learned from Inki. He wasn't sure. But there was a theory. Each of the relics is unique. They all have their own powers. Their own personality. They will bind to a person that re resonates with them. But I thought the Magi were a force for good. How did my brother come to control a relic? How can they be used for evil? I don't care who your brother is, but nothing is ever so black and white. Relics, like people, can be used for good. 
or evil, especially since these labels always differ from person to person. Your evil may be another person's righteous. But how did I come to inherit this? You said the previous owner of the relic was your brother, correct? Maybe it found a similar host in you. I am not my brother. If you say so, I'm sorry, but that's all I really know about the relics. Enki knew more, but I don't know where he kept all his notes. Uh, thanks, Haria. You've been more than helpful. I didn't do it to be helpful. I did it for my daughter's friends. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have my garden to attend to. Well, how do you feel? I don't know. Confused? Well, let's head back to Phoenix Drop for now.